What's up everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to fix Armored Core 6 crashing, freezing, not launching or any other error messages that are happening when trying to play the game on your Windows 10 or 11 computer. So let's jump straight in now and take a look at what you can do to fix the game. So the first way that I'm going to show you to resolve issues with the game is using a program that I created called Easy Game Utility. It's very easy to use, all you need to do is click on the link in the description below and you can then download the program for free and once you open it you will have a window that looks like this. Once it's open just head on over to the fix tab and then scroll all the way to the bottom and then you've got a browse button. Go ahead and click on this browse button and then select Armored Core 6 and go open and then just choose Steam from here if that's where you're playing the game from and then go attempt fix. The program will now attempt to fix the game and if it manages to um, resolve the issues then it will launch but even if the game doesn't launch that doesn't mean that it didn't help you know fixing the issues it just means that it couldn't launch it so once it's finished running go ahead and launch the game and see if it helped resolve the problems. You can see there now that it's launching Steam and then it's going to go ahead and launch the game. So that's it, that's Easy Game Utility. Hopefully that quick fix has helped resolve the issue you've been having with the game. You do get free attempts at resolving issues on the free version. If you want the pro version, then you can purchase that and get unlimited attempts. So I'm just waiting for this to um, do its thing. You can see it's launched Steam there. If I go back to Easy Gamer, there we go, you can now see that it's actually launching Armored Core 6, which means that it's done all its troubleshooting methods and stuff and it's now launching the game. So moving on to the next thing that you can do when fixing issues with Armored 6, let me just wait for this to boot up, there we go, I'm just going to quickly close this down. So the next thing to do if um, obviously using Easy Game Utility didn't help is to ensure that Windows is up to date. You can do this easily by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to settings, going to update and security and then clicking on the check for updates button. If you have an optional quality update available, go ahead and download and install that as well. Once you've updated Windows, the next thing you want to do is ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you don't know what graphics card you have, you can right click on the start menu icon, go to device manager, expand display adapters, and you will then see your graphics card there. As you can see, I've got an RTX 4060, which means I'd need to download the latest driver for an NVIDIA graphics card, the RTX 4060. So I'd need to go to the NVIDIA website. I will pop some guide links in the description below that you can use to update an Intel, NVIDIA and AMD graphics card if you're not too sure on how to do this. Now that you've updated Windows, updated your graphics card, the next thing that you want to do is ensure you don't have anything open when trying to play the game. As obviously if you've got something open, it could be conflicting with the game, causing it to crash, not launch, or give you another error message or something like that. So if you have MSI Afterburner open, Discord, anything like that, close it all down and then try launching Armored Core 6 and see if that helped resolve the problem. Another thing that could cause issues is if you've overclocked any of your hardware. So if you've enabled XMP or anything like that in your BIOS or overclocked your graphics card, turn these overclock settings off if you know how. If you don't, then don't touch it because you don't want to break your computer. But if you know how to disable the overclock settings, do it, try the game again, and hopefully that will resolve the problems you're having. Now, if none of those methods have helped so far, then the next thing that we want to do is go to the location where the config file is located for Armored Core 6. Now I'm going to use Easy Game Utility to go to this location as it's the fastest way, but I will also show you how to do it manually. So Easy Gamer, all I need to do is select the game there and just click on config files and it takes me straight to location. There's the config file. There are other games obviously in Easy Game Utility that you can locate config files for and I will add support for more. But for now, right click on the file, go rename and add BK to the end. If you don't want to use Easy Game Utility to locate the file, then just simply click in the address bar, do the percentage symbol, type in app and then data, percentage symbol and then press enter. You're then looking for the Armored Core 6 folder, open this up and you will then see the config file there. If you go to this file, this is just your saved data, so we want to just ignore that. 
Um, I said file, I actually meant folder. Right, so now we've done that, go ahead and launch the game again, just in case there is a graphic setting or something that you've changed that was causing the game to crash and not launch or whatever issue you're having with the game. If that didn't help resolve the problem, then the next thing that we want to do is open up the start menu and type in control panel. You then need to click on control panel and you're then looking for the power settings option. So you can see power options there and you just want to ensure you're on the high performance power plan. This is just going to give your computer a bit more juice, a bit more power to help obviously maybe resolve those problems that you're having. And if it done, it just make the game run a bit smoother anyway, if you weren't using the high performance power plan. So another thing that can cause problems with Armored Core 6 crashing and stuff is your security software. So if you have a third party security program installed like AFAST, AVG, Norton, um, anything like that, turn it either into a game mode or a passive mode. If you don't have the option to do that, then just disable the security software and then try launching the game again and see if that helped. Just obviously keep in mind while your security software is disabled, you might not be protected from security threats. So just be very careful there. So now that you've done that, and if that wasn't the problem, then the next thing that I'd suggest you try and do is verify the game files. So we can do this in Steam. And what this is going to do is ensure that none of the game files have become either corrupted or missing. And if they have, then Steam will attempt to resolve the problem. So I'm gonna open up Steam now and show you how to do that. Alrighty, once you have Steam open, you then need to find the game in your games list. As you can see, mine is here. Right click on the game and go to properties. Once you're on properties, go to installed files and we then want to click on verify integrity of game files. This is now just going to go ahead, like I said, and check the game files. If that didn't resolve the problem, then the next thing that I'd suggest if you have the option is to move the installed folder. So go ahead and move the game to a different um, hard drive on your computer, just in case there is a problem with the drive that you have the game installed on. And if you don't have the option to install the game onto a different drive, then make sure that you do have enough free disk space on the drive that is installed on. If it's getting a bit low, then that can cause issues as well. That does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope one of the methods in the video helped you out and you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you do want to see more videos with my face on, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.